One day after school, I was called by a cheerful girl in my class. Izumi, what's so important to talk to me about? Um, Omayada, is there someone you like? No, I don't... Then, I want you to go out with me. I'm sorry! Immediate response? She asked me out, but I politely declined. Why is that, by the way? Well, I'm not really into uh, relationships right now. So, you have no intention of going out with anyone? Yeah, something like that. I see. Then, that's alright. So, we'll just be classmates like we've always been, right? Yeah. That was my reason, but it's not the real reason why I rejected the most beautiful girl in my grade. It goes back to today's lunch break. When I arrived at school that day, I found a letter in my shoebox from Ina Izumi, who was my classmate. She's cute, sociable, and the most popular girl in our grade. So I was skeptical, but I was nervous all the way until lunch break. What are you staring at, Oyamada? Whoa, what's with you all of a sudden? You're staring at Enna too much. I'm not? You're lying. They're Azumi's friends, Gokumi and Mitsuki. They're always teasing me because I'm not good with girls like this. So you like Enna after all? Uh, no. Oyamada, your reaction is too honest. Anna is really popular, isn't she? But she has no intention of getting a specific boyfriend. Huh? The other day, she got approached by a college student on the street. I guess she's popular outside of school, too. So, is this letter about something else? I'm sorry it's out of the blue. I have something I want to tell you, so please stay in class after school. Anna. Could it be that they put it in the wrong shoebox? Hmm? What's in your pockets? Something's fishy! Let me see! Uh, this is a little... It's fine, it's fine. Hey! Then I heard a familiar pretty voice. It was Azumi standing there. Kokomi? What are you doing? Anna, Oyamada's hiding something. But that doesn't mean you can force him. Oyamada's in trouble, right? Okay. Anna, don't you treat Oyamada differently from the other guys? Th that's not true! Wow, you're so desperate. Izumi is always nice to me like this, so I'm hoping that she likes me just a little bit. I slipped out of the classroom because it was hard for me to stay in the classroom. Ah, running away to the bathroom? I'm so lame. Izumi, what's so good about such a lame guy? What? You want a rubber? Yeah, but who are you going to use it with? Um, it's a secret. It's the college student that hit on you the other day, isn't it? Izumi was rumored to have been playing around a lot. I decided to decline her confession because I thought that a popular girl of her caliber was too much for me to handle. There was a rumor about Izumi, and instead of going out with someone like she does with anyone, she has many partners like that, and she plays with them lavishly. Well, I don't deny those things, that's why I turned down your confession. But why? Um, why are you crossing arms with me? Well, since you're not into relationships, I wonder if this would make you nervous. It, it does, obviously. That night. Uh, this horoscope is totally wrong. If you put rubber in your wallet, your luck will improve a lot. Win over the boy you like. I couldn't win him over at all. But I was able to lock arms with him, and he seemed excited. Maybe I should try to be a little more aggressive. But, but, what if he thinks I'm annoying? What should I do? Uh... A few days have passed since the confession. Oh, Yamada, let's go home together. Huh? Oh, okay. I thought I rejected her, but for some reason, Azumi was more aggressive than before. Come on, smile. And, uh, after school, we usually go home together and hang out like this. We'd take Puricura pictures together, talk at the cafe. Days like this went on. And now that it was the weekend, I finally feel like I can catch my breath. I wonder what Izumi's intentions are. Did she not want to stay rejected? I'll try to ask her next time. I was hungry and about to go to the convenience store when my sister who was in college stopped me. Oh, Yuto, where are you going? I'm going to the convenience store because I'm hungry. Then go get me a rubber while you're at it. Rubber? Okay. What? I just ran out. I'll give you the money later. No, 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 no. Why me? You're going to the convenience store, aren't you? You're asking too much of me. Go buy things like that yourself. It's just rubber. I always 
do the housework for you. Do that much for me. Oh, and the thicker one, okay? I don't want to hear about the size. I couldn't refuse her after all. So I went to the convenience store a little distance away from my house. Is, is this okay? My 20-year-old sister, Machi Oyamada, has a bit of laxity about her. Well, at least she's thinking about her safety. Thank you. It'll be awkward if someone sees her to go home. And then my boyfriend... Hmm? Oh, Yamada? Yo. What a coincidence. Uh, why are these three here? It was Ener and the others who showed up at the worst possible timing. What did you buy? Oh, uh, dinner? Oh, yeah. Are you playing games at night again? Oh, Yamada's house sounds fun. I want to go sometime. This is the worst. I can't let that happen. I mean, why hide it? Maybe it's one of those types of magazines. No! Uh, convenience stores don't carry those kinds of magazines these days. Suspicious. <laughs> You're desperate, aren't you? Just let us see. Hey, no! Hey, you two. Oh, Yamada doesn't want to. Oh. Huh? This is rubber, isn't it? At that moment, I thought it was over. Seriously? Oh, Yamada, you have someone to use rubber on? Who is it? You have a girlfriend or something? This isn't mine! Anna! Oh, Yamada is actually living the life! Uh, what's wrong, Anna? Worst. Hmm? Oh, why are you so mad, Anna? Even though you said you're not interested in a relationship. I looked over at Izumi in horror. and She seemed very upset. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going. Uh, Anna? Hey, what's going on? I saw tears in Azumi's eyes for a moment before she started running. What happened? Was she crying? Oh, Yamada, do you have any idea? No. Oh, this is really the worst. Izumi probably misunderstood me or something. And bad things kept happening. When I went home and handed her the box... <laughs> I asked for hairbands! What? You should have told me that first! It was rubber, but it was the wand for the hair. Do you think a sister would ask their brother to buy this? I thought it was a possibility if it was you. I wouldn't ask my brother to buy this for me. But misunderstandings like that are understandable, which makes it funnier, right? It's not funny. Over here. I was relieved right there. I wonder if Azumi's misunderstanding can be dismissed as a laughing matter. Over here? What? No, nothing. I think the reason Azumi was shocked is because she saw me buying rubbers. She must have thought I had someone to use it with, even though I said I wasn't interested in relationships. This is the worst. Why did I run away from Oyamada? I know Oyamada wouldn't have someone like that. They haven't changed at all since the first year. Before I met Kokomi and Mitsuki, I was in a different group, and I was always desperate. The other day, my boyfriend asked me to wear a blindfold. Whoa, he's been watching too many of those videos. Yeah, but you know what? Doesn't that turn you on more? Anna, you've already experienced it? Uh, how was it? At first, I was like, what? But when I tried it, it was kind of fun. But apparently lies like having a boyfriend gets exposed very quickly. Isn't Anna a bit suspicious? I know, I mean, I've never seen her boyfriend in the first place. She's totally lying about having a boyfriend. I know, I know. It's not good to lie in vain. But I didn't want to spend my high school life as a loner like in junior high. So I was desperately lying through my teeth to keep my current position. I cried a little in the bathroom and then decided to go back to class. And there, I met him. Oh no, makeup pouch class. Um, are you okay? Uh, he saw me crying? Wait, it's Yuto Oyamada from the same class? I'm pretty sure he's a loner, too. He's always in the corner of the classroom playing with his phone. I don't know what he's thinking. Then he gently offered me a pocket tissue with a kind smile. Um, if you'd like, use this if you'd like. What? Why? Crying marks. Oh, my sister says. I should be nice to girls in times like this. Wait, what? Why am I running away? I'm so lame. That single thing made me fall in love with him. The following Monday during lunch break, I was in the classroom feeling awkward when Kokimi and the others came in. Oh, Yamada, 
can we talk to you for a minute? It's about Anna. Can you talk right now? Uh, yes. They were worried about Izumi. Izumi hadn't said anything about the incident, but she's been feeling down. To be honest, I hesitated. But I told them about the confession I received last week, so... So, that's what it was all about after all. Huh? You knew? We had an inkling. She's been interested in you for a while. Especially recently, she's been giving out the fact that she likes Oyamata, right? Well, just for a second, Anna is still... What? Really? There's some weird rumors about Anna, but it's not true. We can tell just by looking at her. She surprisingly got a very strong guard. Then why make such a lie? Girls are, frankly speaking, a pain in the butt. If you can't keep up with the conversation, you get left behind. But it's hard to fit in. Uh, why do you two stay together if you know she's lying? Because we're friends and we love Anna. She probably has her own reasons for lying, right? Izumi's reasons. After hearing what they had to say, I decided to face Izumi properly. After school that day, I stopped Izumi who was going home alone. Um, Izumi? Huh? What is it? I wanted to talk to you about something. And then I tried my best to explain the situation to her. So I made a mistake and it was just a hairband. I didn't really know what I was saying either, but I didn't want to be misunderstood, so I tried to string the words together. Uh, uh, what's that? Izumi suddenly bursts out. No, it's true! It's not that. Sorry, Oyamata. I misunderstood. I was shocked to think that maybe you were secretly dating someone. This is totally jealousy, isn't it? I don't mind. I'm sorry, I misunderstood you too. After hearing what Kokimi and the others said, I felt bad. I believed your rumors and thought you weren't a good fit for a dull guy like me. I see. So Kokomi and the others knew about it. Um, it's not Oyamata's fault because my lie had a tail. I was sort of ostracized in junior high. I was plain dull and always left out. You? I can't picture that at all. I thought I'd change when I entered high school, so I tried my best, and I tried to keep up with everyone and lied. But I'm not going to lie anymore. I really like Kokomi and Mitsuki, and I don't want to lie. Besides, I want Oyamata to like the real me. After that, Izumi went to apologize to Kokimi and the others, and they forgave her. And after all that, we decided to go out. Both Kokumi and Mitsuki were happy. That's great! You two look good together. You're just jealous because you broke up with your boyfriend, right, Kokumi? That's right. Uh, that's why, Oyamata, you should sometimes be my... Hey, Kokumi? No, no, I'm kidding. Oyamata, stop laughing and say something! <laughs> Wait... Oyamata is so loyal, you don't have to worry about him cheating, right? I want to go out with Oyamata too! Good for you having such a wonderful boyfriend, Anna. Yeah. Cute. And that's how a dull guy like me got a girlfriend! Do you have that rubber from last time? Uh, um, yeah? Then, let's use it today? I'm having a little trouble with her aggressiveness. 